Right, so I was playing around with the uh, Easy DMM software for the SDM 3065X, which I've already done a review on, but I hadn't actually done the software part of it. So I'm going to do this as a little follow up. Um, and what I've noticed, I've, I'll, I might start again, right? So I've got the Easy DMM here installed. It does this, you have to say yes, you want to modify it. Obviously, I've already installed the native instruments. No, not native. National. national I don't know, NIVSA, NIVSA software is part of the requirements, right? So I've gone here, done an add instrument, I've found it, selected it, put it in, I've already got it in, so that's why it's done that, okay? So it shows it here, and you can go into control, you've got these various things, but a lot of it isn't really showing me very much, I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, I don't know. Anyway, um, so I go and control. We see commands if you know what commands to do. I don't. Screen capture shows the current screen. All right, zoomable. So that's my little bit bigger. Eh? Um, virtual panel. Is it zoomable? Yeah, only for display. Um, I'll do it anyway. Mm, okay. Now I was looking through this and going through, and it's there was the instrument responds instantly as soon as I click on it. It switches. You can probably hear it clicking, right? Now what I've noticed, I went to go and do frequency measurements. So I went shift frequency. I thought, why is it on diode? Shift frequency. Turn on diode. Then I just hold on. This frequency here and frequency here. This is incorrectly labelled. That should be diode test. So there's a little bit of a bug there, right? So that one is frequency. So. Um, when you in here you've got all the options you've got I mean these are the, the, the display buttons down here so you can change between frequency and period and that sort of stuff right and it is really quick it's really responsive and everything seems to work but I just noticed there's a little labeling error here um, frequency so was well, actually diode everything else appears to be labeled correctly that I've seen I haven't noticed anything else I'm just pairing again now just to make sure you know, run stop works. You know, everything appears to function. Um, what's this shift functions? You can see it appears up there as well, which is quite handy. Um, yeah, so it's just odd that it did that, you know. Um, you know your ranges will work and, and auto ranging that works. So this is all just like using it from the front panel of the unit, as you would expect it to be. Okay, um, you know it all does just fine. Works exactly the same way, but just that little little bug there where it's got the wrong labelling. Um, that's something that Siglet needs to fix. Um, yeah, it's it's not a big deal, but it's just something that should be addressed. I'm not sure why. Oh, diet test for shoulder, of course. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, everything seems to work. Um, I should just double check everything. I mean, yeah, it fine, <laughs> you know. Um, one thing I've noticed this isn't live updating. Okay. Um, Here you can do lock screen captures, that's it's fine. You can do that from here. But it's manual refreshing. It doesn't uh, do it constantly, which would be nice. So here updated then. But uh, suddenly, I don't know. Here you go, you have to right click and refresh. Well how about an automatic refresh or something like it's got on some of the other units, like the um the easy scope software's got automatic refresh. Uh you know, yeah, okay, but if you're looking for a constantly changing value, doing this is going to be a bit of a pain. <laughs> there might be another way, but that's not what I've been seeing. I, I don't know. The EasyScope's got an automatic refresh option, which is it's up the top here somewhere, and um, and it just wanted to refresh the display constantly. So it'd be nice if this had the same thing. You know. Um, but it's nice to do a copy and a save and stuff like that as well. So you can grab screens, um, obviously here as well. 
same deal, do refreshes here, refreshes there. Sending command side, don't know. Um, I don't know what his commands are, so it's not something I'm going to play with. It's pretty the same as the other systems. It's all documented, but um, I don't know. Scan data. I don't know how to get this to work yet. Don't know how to get this to work yet. Measurement. Uh, I mean, I can't see how to get this to actually be for this unit. Is it? Is it that? And then. I don't know, I can't see how to get this to it, this bit here to actually work. I mean connect, no. Scan. So I haven't looked at this yet. Uh, manager. I don't know, this might be the uh, scan option, the scanner function, which is a unit which plugs into it. Um, so it's probably not available for this anyway. Oh, maybe that's part of the scan system. Scan data, scan, configure channels. Oh yeah, that's okay. That's what it should be. This is for the scan feature, the scanner. Um, yeah, it's probably because of that. That's what that would be for, I think. But this I would have thought would be coming up. But it's because it's underneath both menus. So when you thought your scanner would be only showing these and not digital model meter showing these, it's not. I don't know. It's software is a little bit clunky for my liking uh, but you go into the control section obviously then you've got the virtual panel and that's probably all you really need anyway but having this automatic updating would be nicer um, but anyway it's it's okay for your software control um, personally this is not something I do maybe people which are more familiar with doing software control would be uh, you know a bit better at demonstrating this and, and using these commands and what have you but uh, you know, for, for me right now it's just no no, no, no. <laughs> it's not what I use so it's not really um, you know something I can demonstrate very well but I'm just sort of showing you what the software's got in it and, and what it displays and pretty much um, disconnect connect so I just want to take it off so I'll do disconnect and then reconnect yeah but I think this is all the scanner stuff which I thought would only be displayed on this menu, but it's not, it's under both, so go figure. Anyway, um, yeah, it's okay, I mean it seems to work, there's only a little bug, that one little, uh, battery panel, here we go, that little bug there, where it's got incorrect labelling, but yeah, okay, that's enough for now, that's a little follow up, so, have a good one, catch you later, guess you know, and uh, tell me what you think, right. Also, remember to subscribe and, and uh, you know, follow the channel and tell your friends and share it and that sort of stuff. I keep forgetting to say that at the end of the video, so I just added this on. Subscribe, push the little bell icon so you get an email when I do a new video. Uh, tell your friends, share the videos on forums and stuff and make people famous. I don't know, uh, I don't care about that. But anyway, have a good one. Catch you later.